Hey what's up guys this is Balu from Balu Prime and welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how we can create this effect in After Effects. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. By the end of this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please click on that like button. Do provide your valuable feedback or comments. If you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And don't forget to enable the notification icon bell so that whenever I post a new video it reaches you. So further without any delay. Let's start. So here we are in After Effects. Now let us import our footage onto this project panel. For that right click on this project panel, import and select your file or else you can directly drop your footage onto this project panel. Now again drop your footage onto this composition icon here. Let me change this resolution to quarter. Press 0 for ramp preview. So move forward in timeline where you want the effect to get comments. So I want the effect to get comments from this point. So beyond that frame, go to edit options and select split layer. Now move forward till the frame where you want to end the effect. So beyond that frame, again go to this edit options and select split layer. First rename this like fire and let us bring this above. Fine. Okay. Come to the starting point of this fire frame. Fire. Okay. Now let us track the motion of this fire layer so click on this track motion option so you'll get this let me change this resolution place it on this thumb point let me change the resolution to full ok now let us track this frame by frame click on this place the tracker in the place let me finish this for you here the tracking is done now go to this layer options select null object now click on this edit target change this layer to null click on ok and apply the track to null now the tracker is applied to this null now let us import our fire footage onto this project panel I have provided link in the description for this you can drop it onto this and then let me disable the sound change the blend mode to add let me trim out press alt and arrow key to trim it out and place it at the position of the thumb pick this anchor point and place it at the thumb now let us reduce the scale of this fire to 50 position it okay. yes. after positioning this fire pick this to null or you can change that to null okay. now you can see the fire will be following our track points which are assigned to the null let me remote remote it from that side looks good for me now let us add some glow to this file for that go to this effects and presets panel and look for glow drop it onto this fire footage and change this glow radius to 150 and glow intensity sorry let the intensity be 1 change this glow threshold to 75 
or else you can still play with the settings just play with the settings here to get your desired output let me change the glow intensity to 5 okay here it seems it's okay for me the glow or else let me increase this glow threshold to 90 yeah looks good for me a glow is also applied to this file now let us add some sparks while snapping our fingers so import your footage or sparks footage onto this timeline let us remove this green background here for that go to this effects keying and select key light pick this eyedrop tool and select that green color okay. now move forward in timeline where our fingers will be snapping yes let us position there let us trim it off from the left hand side till that frame now move forward a single frame and trim it out from right hand side so the sparks video will be of two frames length now again move forward at this place we need to add again this so go to this edit options and duplicate this spark layer bring this to this frame and let us position this part video at our finger snapping position and again let's add at this point so again duplicate our spark layer frame and position a proper and change the blend mode to screen to all three sparks layer. now let us see the preview of this press zero for ramp preview or space bar to play so in this way we can create this effect easily in after effects i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye